Have you ever asked yourself this question? How does my personal brand impact my sales as a real estate professional, mortgage professional? Well, in today's video, we want to go a little bit deeper in the subject matter because some individuals think that like they should have a personal brand and they should have a business brand. Some individuals think they should be together. Some individuals don't do anything when it comes to a personal brand. Like, who are you as a person watching this video? What's your name? How old are you? What's your interest? Are you high energy? Energy or low energy? Are you introverted? Are you extroverted? Like, let's really ask the question as far as who am I? What am I committed to? What do I like? And how am I showing up online or am I currently showing up to be able to have that impact or maybe not impact my actual bottom line? Because at the end of the day, your personal brand, brand can influence your sales and can influence and can impact what people perceive of you the value and also how much they can connect with you because in the world of real estate, connection is everything and that's what I'm doing and my intention is to connect with you with this video to add value so you can be able to take this information, run with it and have a little bit more confidence to have more success within your business and that's our company, Lift Off Agent. Wow. We either start, ramp, or scale you up. My name is Omola Kinsey III. I'm your CEO and co-founder. I love doing these videos. I just couldn't be more happy to be able to have a team that can edit the videos. Thank you, team and staff. And uh, have the thumbnails and the copy and everything that we have out there is because of our team. And I couldn't be more just grateful and thankful and happy for your attention and your time on this subject matter right now. So let's go ahead and get into it. So when it comes to your personal brand and your business brand, I believe they're the same. Now, I do have a personal Instagram and a business Instagram. Why? Because Liftoff Agent has 17 staff members and over 100 and plus clients. The goal is 250 agents at the end of the year. Um, and I've personally met well over like 16, 17,000 agents and I've served probably six to 7,000 agents. And the goal is 15,000 agents will be serving at Liftoff Agent, right? And that's why I'm putting out these videos and doing what I'm doing because I want to be able to like have as much success as I can with this process. So on the business side, this is a business video on YouTube. It'll be cut up for shorts and it'll be over there on say Instagram. And then I have the Instagram for like our podcast and for our clients and for, for adding value to the real estate industry. And my personal brand is going to take you into my life as far as everything that I do from pool training, cold water therapy, hot therapy, the gym, cars, hiking, my family, like my wife, my daughter, um, the trips that we're gonna take, going to the Philippines, you know, meet our team out there. Like, I want you to be able to feel who I am as an individual, and I want to take you down a path and a journey so you can be able to connect with me as a person, and we can be able to have a deeper connection. So, the business brand for Liftoff Agent is gonna be a bit more straight to the point, right? Either entertainment, adding value, and then of course, CTA for sales. Personal side, it's all going to be entertaining, adding value, and like really not any like CTAs for sales. And so we'll get into what that means, CTAs for sales here in a second. So what I would recommend as a real estate professional is I would recommend that you would have a personal page and you would sprinkle in say maybe listings that you've sold, testimonials from your clients, your stories have all behind the scenes, day in the life, the things that you're doing because as a licensed real estate professional or a mortgage professional, you are your business, you are your brand, and they buy specifically from you. Now. If you're a bigger company, like say Liftoff Agent, they're buying from the brand, which is technically me, but as we scale our sales division at Liftoff Agent, they're gonna be purchasing from different people that are going to connect with the individual agent who comes in through our ecosystem, and then like magic will happen, the connection will happen, and it'll just be amazing. Woo! For you, you are the brand, and you need to ask yourself, how am I showing up? And I love life by design. So if you love the gym, Gym, if you love hiking, if you love swimming, if you love golf, if you love cars, if you love family, if you love food, whatever it is that you love, put that into your brand. Let that be a part of the essence of who you are and how you show up because then you could be doing the things that you love, going to the gym and meeting your next client. You could be on the golf course meeting your next client. You could be on a hike meeting your new client. You could be able to do mastermind hikes 
and you are a licensed real estate professional talking about esoteric spiritual type practices and doing an amazing hike and then jumping in a cold plunge because of you love Wim Hof and then next thing you know this mastermind turns into 50 people and out of the 50 people you got five people you're working with that want to buy or sell with you oh my god that is amazing I think so many individuals in the real estate space they don't think to themselves from the perspective that if you are the brand and you like things you can relate to the same things that you like with your potential prospect which that will start the conversation which then soon as the walls and the barriers get broken down then you can have a conversation about oh do you own a home have you thought about potentially buying a home? Have you thought about house hacking? Have you thought about Airbnb being maybe the extra space in your room? Because you're talking about the fact that you want to go do more with hiking and you want to do more with retreats, but you don't have the money because your mortgage is so high or your rent's so high. So what if I got you into a house and then if I got you into a house, you had a roommate and then you potentially had like an Airbnb uh, with the ADU in the backyard, the tiny home that you have in the backyard, and then it brought you in, say, an extra $2,000 worth of monthly income and you only had to pay $500 a month for your mortgage instead of saying you're paying $1,500 now. So technically, you're going to be able to free up maybe $1,500, all for money for retreats on a monthly basis, wow. right? Think about it like that. Like, I don't think enough individuals in the real estate space really think about it like that. And I think that they think like, oh, I gotta have the business side. This is the business side. This is the personal side. Oh, I have a personal Instagram account. I had a client that I met that she's up in Alaska. And she's like, yeah, I keep my personal side. It's super personal. I don't put a lot of stuff out there, so on and so forth. I'm like, why? I said, why? I said, I said, if it's a personal account and it's private, your clients like want to connect with you, why would you make it private, right? Like have one account and keep it all mixed and mingled and like have like 80% personal and 20% business. And then on the business side, do like entertainment and education, right? That's like 90% of it. And then 10% is like a call to action, a CTA, where you say, hey, you've probably been following me for a while, and this is how I can be of service to you, and I would love to be able to do as such because this is my way to be able to give back to you for watching my content and being so consistent. I would love to help you either get into your next home, buy an investment property, potentially sell your home and get into a larger home and potentially be able to utilize your home as an asset so you can either house hack or potentially bring in some passive residual income. And that's my goal and that's what I would want to do. Because it doesn't matter if someone already owns a home or not, they can always do more to be able to house hack and to be able to have more success with the process of being able to grow the their financial wealth and abundance. This house currently, two Airbnbs, one in the house, one travel trailer, and a rental room. This house, $2.75, $1,800 a month, one room for rent, $900 a month. That takes it down to about $900 for the mortgage. That's correct. One room, Airbnb, last March, $2,700. What does that mean? That means that now we just had cash flow and for the month of March, all our bills were paid. Nice. One month, travel trailer. Haven't even got into like the, out of the summer months into the peak season. We've already made like, I don't know, $1,700 from the travel trailer within three months. It's $480 a month. The travel trailer pays for itself and all we had to do is put it on the side of our house. We're gonna do an ADU in the backyard and this house will pay us, my wife and I, $6,000 a month. So There's nice. not enough real estate professionals out there talking about house hacking or talking about what they're doing because if you're flying on a plane you're traveling you're going to dinner you are uh, house hacking you have investments whatever it is talk about that on your personal brand add value and the seven trigger states that if you do something for someone else they'll be more inclined to do something back for you okay so I'm not talking about things that I don't understand. I'm not talking about things that I'm not doing. And I'm not just here trying to give you just mouth vomit. I want to see you win and be successful. I want you to understand that the personal and the business needs to intertwine and that 80% of what you post is going to be personal. 20% is going to be business. From that 20% that's business, 90% of it's going to be entertaining and educating. And the 10% is going to be asking for business, asking to be of service. CTA, your call to action to set up a strategy session, meet for a Zoom, meet for a coffee, explore opportunities, and be of service, okay? Like this video if I was in service. Subscribe to this video if you found value, and hit the notification bell if you want more content. That keeps me motivated, keeps me moving forward, 
God bless you. I appreciate you. You can do this. I believe in you. And make sure you understand your personal brand really does influence your sales volume. And if you were to lean more into tying in the personal and the professional, you're going to have so much more success. Until the next one, God bless, take care, and keep moving forward.